project you must look at resources we're gonna create a travel magazine so what I did I went ahead and got some resources and so I can have an understanding of what I'm gonna do okay I got two resources I'm gonna pull con some ideas from both of these pieces so first step and also we needed a barcode so I went and download the barcode let's bring it back up first step we want to go to file new that's how you create a new page this is your document you're gonna create let's make the width 8 and the height will be 11 resolution is 300 the higher the resolution the clearer your page is gonna be CMYK means cyan magenta yellow and black that's all you need for right now let's hit let's call it travel magazine and let's hit OK here's my page here's the layer first thing we want to do we want to create a backdrop so I'm gonna go to file fill I'm gonna fill that with a color I'm gonna make that color I'm gonna go with white for now and hit fill here's my fill I'm gonna click on my move tool and I'm gonna go to file open I'm going to navigate to my desktop because those pictures are on my desktop. Let's see here. That's not it. I have some pictures on my desktop. Let's see, that picture should be bam, one. Here it is. Let's bring that picture in. Open up. Now when the picture comes in, notice that it opens up on a new window. So here's my magazine. And I want to bring this picture in to this page. So I'm going to do like this. You go to select all. So now we have it all selected. And I'm going to go to edit, copy. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go to edit, paste. Here it is. Now since we got that, we can delete this. I'm going to click the X. I'm gonna, since I'm on my move tool, I'm going to move this right in here. Okay. And I'm going to scale this. Now it's going to be cropped off. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, scale. You must hold the shift key and pull from the corner. If you don't pull from the corner, it's going to be distorted. So I'm going to keep pulling, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull. Perfect. Bring it over. And once you hit enter, everything falls in place. Here's my layout. Okay. Now the next phase that I want to do, I want to break my space up with color. So my color scheme, I'm going to go with two colors. I'm going to go with orange and white yellow so I'm gonna click on my eyedropper I'm gonna change this color to be a nice orange let's go with a bright nice orange right here perfect hit OK and I'm gonna use my shape tool which is click on the rectangle you must create a new layer every time you add something so I'm gonna click new layer or you can actually go here you wanna label your layers too so click on that just click on the word layer, tap once, tap again, double click, and then you have, I'm going to call this color shape. Okay, color shape. Now, I'm going to make a color right here. Okay. And I'm going to edit, fill. And then he's going to make this set of color. We're going to go with the foreground color because this is my foreground color. Hit OK. And there you got a nice color here. Now we might need something to balance off the top. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and call it color layer 2. Here it is, color layer 2. So I'm going to add color on the top. 
from. And I'm going to go ahead and do what? Edit Fill. Hold on, color. Now we got something to kind of contain our things. Now we're going to deselect, select. Deselect means you see how it's had that little line going around? I just deselect it. Now I can do something cool by lowering the opacity. If I click on this layer, I can lower the opacity. See that? Much better. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and type in Miami. Because that's, and we need to have a nice font. To change the font, you have to be on the text tool. And I'm going to click here. Hey. Okay. And I'm going to go I need a nice clean font. Very professional because this is going on the newsstand. Go ahead, that a cup for now. I'm going to say Miami. Now, playing with fonts is very important. So I'm going to put Miami right here. And I'm going to change that color. Just so gotta be it. Make sure you're on the layer. See, once you click on the text tool, it creates the layer. So I'm gonna change that to white because we want it to pop. Miami. I'm gonna put text. I'm gonna scale that up, and you can scale by going right here. I'm going to go ahead and move this. Now you have to move it using your move tool. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this font. And I have it on ball. I'm going to take it off ball and make it light. And I'm going to scale this. Now notice if I want to make this a little bigger, we can, we can just type it in. Or you can click on the move tool and go to edit, transform, scale. And then see you just grab the corner, hold shift and pull. Hit enter to apply it. Now that looks good like that. Click on that. I'm going to put to Miami. We put Miami here. Or we can do this. I think we can put Miami here, right on the top. See how I'm designing as a designer? Okay. I kind of like that off center here. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay, let's have the Miami by itself so it stands out. Move this over. Okay, now we need the word magazine. I'm going to bring that down. Click on the T2. I'm going to make the text a little smaller. You don't need to be that big. Magazine. Bring that nice and neat. Got a nice spot. Now we need to bring in the barcode. So file, open, same way. And make sure you guys jot down and take notes. Desktop, let's find that barcode. There it is. Open, comes in. How do we do this again? Same procedure. Select all, edit, copy, click on the the way you want to paste it and go to edit what paste right. let's move that down control T or you can do edit transform scale but here's the shortcut command T that's how you do it then we do what we hold the shift and pull and there it is move that over barcode now we want to have a lead story um, so Miami, where, where in Miami would we want to go? Um, South Beach. Okay. So key key things is going to be in your story. Uh, what else can we do? I'm going to scale it up a little bit.
must see. I'm going to align this. See how you, anytime you, any tool that you use on this side, it, your sub menu changes on the top. I'm going to bring this here. South Beach, maybe. That looks good like that. Or probably right here because we're going to add more articles. Click, select, and I'm going to change my color to be what? We're going to go with orange. Okay. Because you got to stick with your color scheme. Now, we must be mindful of our bleeds. I'm going to pull my rule down. I'm going to bring one, two, three lines in. You can just count them by the lines. One, two, three. Three lines in. Same thing. One, two, three. I'm going to bring this up some more so you don't get cut off. Now this is a little tight, close to the, so let's move that down. Now, the next thing, South Beach. Ten. Party. And still maybe the ten, um, the top. Ten. Club. Okay, so sometimes people come they come to Miami to get their groove on. So that font is not working. So what I'm gonna do, you wanna make this font bold because this is more emphasis. So I'm gonna change this to be bold. Much better. And then now this the information that goes along with it, we're gonna make that smaller. So I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna make that smaller. We're not going to go bold. Light. Then we're going to list our top 10 clubs. And let's go ahead and line this so it's the right way. Switch that up. Make this over. Top 10 clubs. Live. So, so live. You can kind of change this around. So live. Palm. Love. <coughs> I'm gonna bring that down. Now notice that this is the same as the font. I'm going to change the size so it's in order. It's a, it's a system to this whole thing. So let's go ahead and make that 14. Bring that up. Okay. I'm going to click here. Bring that up a little closer. One. Let's bring this a little closer. Okay. Now this looks like it's a little tight in this area, so I'm going to click on this, move this over. Or you can also do this. Select all and use your your um, character tool and this allows you to scale things tighter or space them out. See that? This is very important to know. This is going to be on a certification test. Okay. Now, as you can see, the same concept. You got your layout. You have to put your price and stuff like that. So, whatever you want to put on your magazine, this is the basic concept. You just keep adding based on your layout. I'm gonna go ahead and end this session, and you may use this time to get to work. Make sure you go back, revisit, and take notes so you understand um, some of the key things.